Hello everyone, welcome back to Creative Ground. This is Asan Habib. Today I'm going to introduce my recently reviewed application which is Streambank 2.0 and I built this application using SP.NET and backend I use SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server. If you have been following my journey, you might remember I built this application back in 2022 for my CSP project. Recently I found like I can improve this application layout, I can add new feature so i did and i added some security measures i changed the whole uh, layout and added some new cool feature which is uh, file stream file stream is sql server native feature that can allow you to store photos and you can retrieve photos whenever you want so i found like it would be very interesting if i can share with you and yeah let's dive into the world of dream bank 2.0 Okay, this is my Dream Bank 2.0. Let me run this application first. And yeah, this is my login page. Currently, you can see here the navigation bar is totally empty. You cannot access or view other pages until you are logged in with admin credential. And if you try to access without providing anything, it will show like this email is required or yeah if you just provide your uh, if you provide wrong password it will show invalid email or password let me put my actual password this is my actual uh, admin login email address and this is my actual login password let me log in and as you can see now i can able to see uh, the home page dashboard the navigation bar all pages are now accessible and you can see here the dashboard the number of clients total clients here total clients refers to how many clients information is stored in my database right now so currently i have two client information stored in my database that's why it's showing two and this is the total deposit i mean total reserve money amount we have right now in our bank and this is the number of transaction next you can see user management you can see under the user management drop down menu you can create new user you can update client information you can delete as well and also you can see the client existing client detail information here and on the transaction drop down menu you can see deposit withdrawal statement you can deposit from here you can withdraw and statement you can see also a statement from here and this is the admin utility page where you can see i added some new utility like calculator currency converter add new admin okay so yeah let me just quickly run calculator uh, you can see here this is very simple calculator layout and you can just do simple calculation here and let me open another one the currency converter currency converter it will allow you to convert from any currency to any currency let's say i want to convert 5000 usd to uh, <coughs> bdt let me convert it it will show 500 uh, USD equal to fi uh, this amount BDT. I have used open exchange rate API for this conversion. So this is totally real time. Okay, let me try do one thing. Let me just create a new admin from here. I can create new admin. Let's say admin to gmail.com. Me put okay this is mail uh, name actually <laughs> put in okay admin2 name is admin2 email is admin2 at the rate of gmail.com and let me put the password password i'm providing this password for this admin let me just click quickly add it yeah you can see new admin added successfully now you can see from here backend 
this is my main database where I am storing all the data, all the client information, all everything, transaction, everything. So whatever we just created the new admin, it will show here that user table. You can see here, this is the newly created our admin account and this is the name and you can see here the password password is showing hash format and it's very helpful for security no one can able to see your password even your database has been exposed okay now let me do one thing let me just quickly sign out from this admin account and i will just try to access my newly created admin account this is admin2 and the password okay let me just try again perfect there you go so let me do one thing let me just quickly create new clients here let me put on new thomas okay let me just put john Thomas and account type checking account or saving account. Let me choose checking account, choose gender, male, choose date of birth. So I'm putting randomly a date of birth here and one, two, three. Street, street, city, let's say Jackson, Jacksonville, state, uh, Florida, postal code 32258, country, United State email address uh, John at the rate of gmail dot com phone number one two three four five six seven eight nine social security same one two three four five six seven eight nine I'm putting just random number it's not okay just I'm putting initial deposit, let's say 5000 is initial deposit, and I can upload photos. Let me choose photos. So, let's say this is my client photos, and I can just submit it. It will uh, store in my database, and it you can able to see here. And in backend, you can also check your your data like table this client table actually <coughs> has been updated right now so this is the new client john thomas and this is the information all we have stored and you can see here image we stored as binary format and and we store image in our file stream as i mentioned before file stream is a sql server native feature that can allow you to store photos pdf file i mean unstructured file photos word file xml file anything you can store here if you use the file stream okay now let's go back and you can see here this is our new client and you can see that information detail information from here and this is the john thomas his email address his address current balance is 5000 and all the information you can see here okay now let me just quickly add some information like if i want to let's say john thomas from john thomas account i want to withdraw some money let's see withdrawal if you have a lot of uh, username i have a search bar here so all you can do just write john you can able to see john's record here and you can see you can withdraw button here click here so currently 
John's account we uh, 5000 let me just one I want to withdraw from this account $2,000 withdrawal now you can see here total balance is going is now $3,000 if I just add some uh, money on John's John account let me just put deposit again I'm right putting writing John and John account is here deposit I want to deposit let's say again uh, $10,000 deposit now you can see here total amount is $13,000 and you can easily check here statement uh, you can see here if you check if you want to check the statement uh, you can check here statement I want to check transaction history for John right John check statement and you can see here the transaction happened when the time particular time and what kind of transaction happened how much money has been transacted and everything it it will pop up and last you can see here total balance is here and this is today's date current time and this is the client name and this is the statement start date and st start uh, statement end date okay so this is how you can just uh, create new user and also you can just update let's say i want to update uh, this account whatever we created we just want to change his name okay just want to change his name john want to add m here john m thomas okay now update and you can see here the client information has been updated and you can also check here john m thomas here okay and you can also if you want to delete this particular account before deleting this account let me show you one thing you can check here the home home dashboard this is now total client number is three initially it was two now we have since we do have only three accounts right now we just added one account now it's showing three and this is the total deposit amount and the total transaction since we did some transaction like uh, we created new account initial deposit happened one transaction we withdrawal from his account another transaction and we deposit his account again total uh, transaction actually three okay now i just want to delete his account from here delete so this is the alert are you want to delete this client information yes i want to delete and now you can see all the information is gone if you check home page now you can see here total client number is two and transaction history is gone because all the transaction happened on that particular john's account so once john's account has been deleted all the transaction history also deleted from the database okay i want to share one more thing uh, so let's say this is the home page url home page url if anyone try to bypass login page and try to access this page can he able to access this page let's see let me log out and i know the url home for home page is on the home and it will not allow you to access the url until you are logged in with your admin credential so this is very important for your security okay now let's go back my visual studio to check my all the coding here so here you can see my okay this is my data source so you can as you can see data source is asan since my server name is asan i mentioned here data source is asan initial catalog is database name database name is stream bank and i have used my sa account for this particular application but i could use integrated security since this uh, application and the db server i mean sql server is on same meshing so i can use the integrated security but uh, if my db server uh, hosted on another machine like remotely hosted then 
I have to use uh, any SQL authentication and you can see here create page this is my create page HTML code here and also you can see here my C sharp this is very simple uh, SQL statement here insert into client I am mentioning the column name defining column name and also uh, putting some values here also and this value will come from front end like from application and you can see here deposit deposit this is all this is deposit uh, SQL statement here you can see update the simple update query here and also you can check edit edit also you can see here this is also update statement so I'm not going through all the pages because I do have a lot of pages here and you can see here currency converter and as you can see I have used open exchange rate API for my currency conversion this is free and real time and yes let's go back my database structure database I have simple data structure uh, database structure I have three only three tables clients transactions user user table is for admin credential it will store only admin credential and you can see here clients and clients in table it will store all the client basic information all the details information and the transaction table it, it will uh, populate it automatically once any update insert or delete happen the transaction table will be populated automatically how it will work so i have uh, added three triggers here first trigger will this one this is insert after any insert on client table it will also update on um, transaction table and there is a, another trigger any delete happen if any delete happen on clients table any particular clients has been deleted from client table that particular clients all the relevant transaction will be deleted as well and also there is another trigger update after any update on client table it will also update my uh, transaction table so if you are interested to check out the database structure and source code for this application don't hesitate to let me know drop a comment below and i will make sure you will get access to the database structure and source code thank you for being an incredible part of my channel don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update stay tuned for more exciting content until next time happy exploring